everybody welcome back to my kitchen today we are going to get into some baking i cannot wait to get back into all of my baking videos and we of course are going to go with the theme which is pumpkin spice right so everything is going to be pumpkin spice related in today's video which is going to be one recipe i'm going to be sharing another recipe with you very very shortly um, it also is going to be pumpkin spice inspired so today's video is going to be how to make a pumpkin parfait so as many of you know i do have a nut allergy which is actually quite limiting to the things that I can make and what I can eat. So my nut allergy isn't necessarily airborne. However, if I do touch it, um, obviously when I eat it is it is an antiphylactic uh, allergy that I have. So I rarely have nuts in the house. And if I do, it's usually Jimmy's trail mix. He really likes trail mix, but he is the one that like puts it in the baggie for him to go to work or things of that nature. I do not even touch it. And honestly, the smell, makes me very very nauseous i cannot handle the smell of nuts whatsoever look at little ivy thinking she owns the place so <laughs> i am going to wipe down all of my counters because i know a lot of you guys are concerned about that however we have pets that's the normal there she is not allowed on the counter when i am preparing food let that be known 100 percent but i am going to get started on this recipe the one thing that i want to mention in this recipe that i am changing out and i'm going to tell you that right away before we get started is going to be the um kind of it's like a crumble that we will be putting in the middle of the parfait parfait so it includes kind of like a cookie crumble if you want to call it that like ginger graham wafer crumble and then there's a pumpkin puree and then there's whipped cream for the topping or the middle and the top so i'm going to be making the pumpkin parfait exactly the same and also the whipping cream exactly the same i will have the recipe linked below however i am going to be substituting out the recipe that they have because it does involve almond flour and what i usually do for like kind of like a crumble um, with the recipes that i make is i usually will take some catalina crunch this is the cinnamon toast cereal i crush it up and then i mix it with some butter so that is what i'm going to be using today instead of the recipe you will see below it includes the actual like crumble part of it including the almond flour but if you can have almond flour then by all means use that part of the recipe so let's get started on today's recipe we are going to start by making the crust so like I said I am going to be using the Catalina crunch in the cinnamon toast flavor now obviously you don't need to use this if you can have almond flour or if you can find some sort of other alternative for me, it's very, very difficult because I am allergic to all nuts. So this is just gonna, I'm just gonna loosely measure this. Um, I'm gonna actually get out a measuring cup and I will measure this because I will have the recipe. Um, well, I won't have the, of course I'll have the recipe linked below, but I will include how much of the Catalina crutch and the butter I put in this recipe. So I think I'm gonna use about a cup. Um, and then I'm not, I'm making this only like two servings because it is only me, me that is eating it. So also make sure that you kind of like do your adjustments as far as how many people will be eating it. But I am just gonna crush this up and then we are gonna put it in our bowl to mix in with our butter. I am going to start out with, I would say it's probably going to work out to be a quarter or a third of a cup of melted butter once I do melt this. So I'm going to put it in the microwave, see how much we have, and we are going to put it in with our Catalina crunch, and then we will determine if we need more butter. I think that's going to be good enough. At the end of the day, we kind of just want that flavor mixed with a little bit of butter. It's not necessarily for it to stick together or anything like that. So I am going to flatten this in a nine by nine pan and put it in a 350 degree baking oven. Next, we are going to be making the pumpkin pie filling. So of course we are going to need pumpkin puree, 
Please make sure that you buy the pure pumpkin. We do not want the pumpkin pie filling. We want the 100% pure pumpkin. So we are going to put a half a cup in my bowl. This is one fourth of a cup measuring spoon. So I am going to use two of those. Then I am also going to be adding about four ounces of cream cheese and it is needs to be softened. So I kind of cut this up just so it would soften better in my microwave. I am going to add half a packet of the Keto Chow Pumpkin Spice Caramel. Now, you don't need to add this. I just don't have the pumpkin spice. So if you do have the pumpkin spice, you do need to use a half of a teaspoon of the actual pumpkin spice. But I'm just gonna substitute with a half of a package of the Keto Chow. I am an affiliate with Keto Chow. There is a link in order to save you 10% down below. So we are gonna just eyeball this and put in a half of a package of the Keto Chow Pumpkin Spice Caramel. Next, we are going to add three tablespoons of your choice of, of keto approved sweetener. I'm gonna use this monk fruit and I'm gonna put three tablespoons in with this. And then I am going to use my blender. I don't have like a hand blender, but I am going to use my Emerge blender. So we are just gonna mix this up until everything is really well combined. I'm just gonna give it a little taste to see if it needs any added ingredients. Oh, that tastes amazing. Really good, I'm just gonna finish combining it and then that is going to be it for the pumpkin pie filling. Before we get started on our whipped cream topping, our um, graham wafer crumbs, if that's what you want to call them, are done. So they are nicely toasted, they smell amazing, and they'll give a nice crunch in our parfait. So next I'm gonna make the um, whipped topping. So what I'm going to be using is my own recipe. It's actually not mine. I got it off of Daniela Diaries years ago. I did make a video about it, how I make it, but I make it all of the time and I store it in my fridge. So I do wanna make extra because I do like having it on top of my hot coffee. So I will link this recipe up in the cards for you to watch, but that is the recipe that I'm going to be using today. So it is one cup of heavy whipping cream. So this is a half a cup measuring cup. So I'm going to be using two of those. And then I am going to be putting a half a cup of confectioner's sugar. Swerve brand is what I'm going to be using today. You can use any sort of keto approved brand that you prefer. I just like the taste of the Swerve. So that is what I'm going to be using today. And we are gonna be using a half a cup of the Swerve Confectioner's Sugar. So I'm just gonna put it in here, lightly measure that. <laughs> and then we are also going to be putting a dash of our vanilla as well in here. And then we are gonna mix it up until it creates that nice whipped cream consistency. I'm just gonna get the bottom of this out because of course some of the uh, icing sugar is stuck to the cup. There we go. All right, let's put it in the mixer. So I do have two small dishes here that I am going to be using for the dessert. So I did look up this recipe. I noticed that it made three servings. However, I am going to divide them into two servings just so that you know when you're looking at your recipe and you're wondering, Janet made two recipes two uh, servings and it says three. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did because it's only gonna be me having these and if we do have a Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving once again to all of my Canadian followers. It is our Thanksgiving today. Um, so depending if we do decide to have a Thanksgiving get together, then this will be my dessert. Well, everybody else enjoys their pumpkin pie but I feel like this is gonna be just as good. So I'm just going to assemble these and then we will make sure that we do a taste test.
All right, we are done assembling our easy, easy pumpkin parfait. So this is perfect for me. Um, just because I am so limited, like I said at the beginning of the video, to anything with nuts. So it's very, very hard for me to um, create some sort of like crumble or crust. Um, but this works perfectly. I have used it once before as well, and it works really, really good to use the Catalina Crunch. So let's give this a taste, and I am very anxious. I gotta make sure I get a little bit of everything in here, and let's give it a taste. Mmm. That is so good. I think that the Catalina Crunch, honestly, is a better option for this recipe. It gives you a lot of crunch. I feel like the crumble that they have for the recipe below may be like a little bit soggy, kind of like, kind of like um, a bottom, like a Graham wafer bottom sort of texture, but this really still keeps its crunch. So highly recommend giving that Catalina Crunch if you do have the opportunity to use that. So that is an option for Thanksgiving. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to all of my Canadian followers. I appreciate you so much. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.